Okay, so this question asks, what is a hormone? Well, a hormone is a protein, but it's not its defining property. So, for example, an enzyme is a protein, but enzymes and hormones are quite different. So what makes a hormone a hormone? It's the fact that it's produced by a gland, that it travels in the blood, and that it causes an effect only at its target organ. Okay, so looking at some student responses, they all actually qualify for the mark according to the old specification. I think the new specification is going to demand more. The first two answers aren't great, but the second two answers are much stronger. And I'm more confident that the last two answers which would secure marks with the new specification. Okay, the next question asks you to name an organ that produces a hormone. And any type of gland would have been accepted apart from, of course, uh, a salivary gland. And the reason why is because a salivary gland produces saliva, which contains enzymes, which are not hormones. Brain was insufficient, and it should be more specific, i.e. the pituitary gland or the hypothalamus. Remembering, of course, that spelling is ideal, but not necessary if it reads phonetically correct. Okay, and then the next part, how are hormones transported to their target organs and very simply we just want to say in the bloodstream because they actually are dissolved in the blood plasma. Okay, describe how the hormones FSH, estrogen and LH are involved in the control of the menstrual cycle. It's a three mark question and they've left you a lot of space. Do not feel the need to fill this space. We're clearly going to say one thing about each of them. So we're going to say FSH stimulates the egg to mature. Equally, we could talk about FSH stimulating estrogen production. We can't talk about FSH causes egg release. We talk about estrogen inhibits FSH and how LH stimulates ovulation. Whoa, look at all this that this student has written. Let's have a little read through. I mean, first thing to notice is that no examiner or teacher wants to mark this amount of written material. He says the pituitary gland releases the FSH, which matures the graphene follicle of the ovum. Um, this is true, um, but it's beyond the specification. Sometimes you have to be careful because you can easily lose marks by being too far ahead. After um, it has been matured, the pituitary gland releases luteinizing hormone, which triggers ovulation. Okay, that's got the next mark of this ovum into the fallopian tube. If the egg is fertilized, the follicle develops into a yellow body called the corpus luteum. Again, this is true. However, he then says, which releases estrogen, and it doesn't. Fortunately, that's the third marking point, so it doesn't disqualify the other point. Um, in actual fact, the corpus luteum releases progesterone, but all of this is actually beyond your specification, and you're in danger zone of not gaining any marks. Okay, another student response. The pituitary gland releases FSH, which starts the development of the uterus. This is not correct. FSH starts the development of estrogen, which has an impact on the uterus. So then it says, then estrogen released and inhibits the release of FSH. Okay, that's marking point two, and begins the release of LH. This allows the process of implantation to occur, developing an egg in the ovary. Okay, so a lot of waffle and only one marking point.